Yo, what is good YouTube? AJ here. I am back with more Super Mario Party. And for today, we're going to be heading on into Challenge Road. In Challenge Road, you can play in a series of special challenges based on 80 minigames. Now, you actually will unlock this mode after you unlock, you know, more minigames, which you do from Party Mode. So, this one is a pretty long mode, though. It's not like, it's a bit like Solo Cruise from Mario Party 7. Thing, but this time this one you're playing mini games however you're not just playing the mini games just to win as the name suggests you have to do certain challenges of that mini game like instead of just winning you might have to get you would have to get a good a certain score or a certain time record or anything like that to win now this gets harder and harder as you further on I think it, if I'm correct the seven worlds you have to go through well, we'll just can we'll just see as you head on there. Now, I've already done this, so well, I've already done this like once. Cause I got Pom Pom, which you unlock her from the last world. Oh, I didn't even realize I can head to end of the road. Okay, I forgot that. I forgot that I didn't do this part, but you know what? I'm gonna do that for last. We're just gonna go from the beginning. Now, if I'm correct, I think she's to unlock Pom Pom. I think you have to do Ghostly ho Hollow. Oh wait, no, no, no. She's Salty Sea. She's Salty Sea. Excuse me. She's Salty Sea, and I think Diddy was Chestnut Forest. Yeah, so both her and Diddy Kong are unlockable to challenge. Uh, room. So I'm actually gonna start from the beginning, and as you can see, Shell Street has a 10 out of 10. So here you got 10 challenges. So depending how much I do, I might do just part by part, or I might just do them all together. So we'll, we'll just see. So we're gonna go ahead and start with Shell Street, which I would say is pretty easy, but then it's also still gonna be challenging. So this is the first one you start off at. And I don't need no break. I already took a few weeks break after I locked it. Alright, so first here we got Precision Gardening. Now, usually it will say you have to be first to get the flower. I mean, to, um, usually it's saying you have to be first to bloom the flower. But in Challenge World this time, you have to water it within 20 seconds. Now... I don't have the controls memorized that well, so I just gotta double check them. And yes, it's pumped the water. So say you have to get this within 20 seconds. Which, you know, is... This minigame is pretty easy, though. So... Yeah, let's just keep on ordering. say challenge is complete for that one. I mean, that one was pretty easy, though. So, that was really nothing, though. But like I said, it starts off easy, and so on and so on. Now, I may have already completed these, these though, so doing them again, I don't mind, though. Anyway, we got Slaparazzi. Score at least 12 points. I gotta look at the rules again. I think this one is, depending on the toad taking a picture, I mean the Koopa taking a picture. Okay, if you're really in the picture, you get the most points, so, if you're really in the picture, you get three points. So as you can see, I just gotta be in the front. So just move, punch, ah oh, shoot, wait, ah oh, boo got it the most, crap. Okay, okay. Again? Oh shoot, this ain't good, this ain't good. How did work? Yo, really? Okay, I got three. Okay, I just need to get that three again. Almost, almost. Just gonna get one more point. Oh, 
Okay, good. And last one. Finish. Yeah, so this one's obviously pretty easy. Like I said, it's gonna get more challenging as we move on. Alright. So this one is Strike It Rich. So you gotta score at least 45 points. Oh, this one was in Soundstage. Yeah, this is one of the mini games part of Soundstage. to speak. Oh shoot. Yes. Okay, good. Oh, Koopa Choo. Wait, did I still win? Okay, good. I'm still winning. Yeah, Koopa Choo had the most, but we got it though. Yeah, like I said, that mini games in soundstage. It's one of the soundstage mini games that you have to be right on beat. And I love that one. Now also, once you get here, you know, actually if you want to take a break or keep going. We're gonna keep going. Cause it's only like we're on to the fourth one, so we're just gonna keep it up. Now we got a team game. Now the the members of your party who you choose will not be in here. So you're gonna just get anyone random. So, of course, we're going to go up against Bowser and Toad. Now, Dash and Dye set it to score at least four points. I'm just going to look at these rules again. Uh, you know, so, I'm teamed up. Oh, I'm teamed with Bowser. I thought it was going to be Bowser and Toad. Alright, anyway. I do that. So, it's saying score four points. Okay, you got it, you got it. Come on, come on, Bowser, come on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that toad is just really getting in the way. So they score four points, so we got that. Challenge complete there. Alright, continue on. We got social climbers. Reach the top within 25 seconds. Alright. certain trick to doing this though. I'm just making sure I can do this trick. Okay, there's the trick. 
The trick is there's a longer jump you can do. I mean, not that it even matters, though. Okay, I just did bad. Well, you know what? I'm not even gonna do that, that trick, though. Just climb, climb, climb. That's it. <clears throat> yeah, I say reach the top within 25 seconds, so... time with the long jumps as they're doing. Oh shoot. Oh no. Wait, do I still wait? Hold on, do I still win? Do I still win? Okay, good. Oh, that was one second away. Okay, so even if you got last place. You just gotta still complete the challenge like it showed. So that was just a win. And, well, not win, but just get to the top in 25 seconds. Okay, sort of fun. This one's challenge is to score at least 8 points. This one can also be pretty tricky, too. Because you have to be facing for them to grab. Because you gotta be facing them to just grab the ball that goes into your basket. Then you gotta go down to drop it in there. Alright, let's score at least 8 points. I also love this minigame too. Alright. That's so good. Yeah, that whole passing to the player can get a little tricky, though. <clears throat> okay, complete that record. Drop it. Even though it's just at eight points, you know, still. Yeah, we're not gonna take no break. Baton and on. Score at least 100 points. Oh, this that soundstage minigame. Baton. This the. Yeah, don't soundstage minigames, so. Oh, this one's a little tricky though. It's like playing with emotion though. I forgot what it said the challenge was. Was I? Soon you seem to score 100 points. D four, hop to D four, stop round the B. Two, three, four, ha, two, three, four, ha, two, three, four, three, two, ready, go. Two, and two, and two, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, challenge complete. Yeah, the sound stages, you really need to focus very carefully on them, alright? But I can't help it. The sound stage is just so dope, man. It really is. Alright, Dust Buddies, beat the rival team. Okay. So this one's pretty easy. 
But then again, don't just think it's easy because, you know, you're the only person. You gotta really just... <clears throat> you can as much as you can. It's all about teamwork, but if you're a solo player, all you gotta do. I'll take that last one. And, okay, you guys can have it. Alright. Y'all really just gonna stop me? Oh god, I, yeah, they definitely won this one. Look at that. Yeah, they definitely won this one. You can see it from their vacuum. Yeah, definitely won this one. Wait, if I start over, is that gonna let me... Okay, good. Okay, so they let you start over the minute. That should be, yup, that's better. That's better. Yeah, they went too much to mine, though. Okay, so good thing you can, they allow you to start over. But then if I wanted to do a real challenge, which I might do in the future, where I am now allowed to start over, I have to actually win-win, I might do that. Alright, just for kicks, beat the rival team. Alright, so like I said, this one will just say beat the rivals or just get a certain score, that's pretty much it. Go! Strike for Mario Strikers Battle League. <laughs> a little hype for that. Speaking of strikers, I haven't done no gameplay in a while though, so I could do y'all some gameplay. Really, bitch? Really? And out of all the people, it had to be Princess Peace. Faggot. What the hell? Are you fucking serious with me, bro? You can at least tackle him. Like, what are you doing? Shit, come on. Oh my god, are you dead ass with me? Well, start over. The worst thing is you can't even control your teammates. See, that's what we're supposed to do from the start. That's all you're supposed to do. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Really, again? <gasps> I was about to say, bruh. I was gonna say, if that ball rolled right into the goal like that, I would've been so pissed off. Yes! Oh, bitch. Wow, you just gonna let Koopa Trooper beat you here, bro? I mean, we won still, but at the same time, come on. Finish. Good. Yeah, if I didn't start over, I would have just got wrecked. Right. 
Alright, we're about near the end. Okay, try harder. This one's another beat survival. I think I remember the controls. Like I said, I don't play... I don't play Super Mario Party much, so... I don't know the controls that well. Okay. So you some beat your rival. Thank God this one is in a record one. Holy shit. I almost messed up. It's hard to play with. The Joy-Con is so small and I have such big hands. It makes it so tricky to do that trick. Especially with both hands. Unless there's a way you could do it with just one hand. I'm gonna have to do that practice one. Alright, so we completed Shell Street. Um, it doesn't really do much though, but move you on. So if I didn't complete it, I would have been able to, um, I would have gotten, you know, a little celebration cutscene thing, and it would have moved me on. But since I already completed it, all I gotta do is just return to the map, and I can just click on the next one. And, you know, I decided to do this part by part, so I'm gonna stop right here. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thing. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, don't forget to comment, subscribe, if you want to check out more Super Mario Party, you can click on the playlist in the description. So next time we'll be heading to Chestnut Forest where we have 11 challenges to do. So, yeah, so until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, take care, have an awesome day, stay safe.